Hey guys, here is Lucas Crew again. Um, came here to do a great workout with Tilly today. Um, being busy, working a lot with the players, with the customers here in Munich. And then I want to just show you a great workout we, we have been doing this week, actually. And then I invite Tilly to, to join. I hope she's fit and then she can follow the train today. Tilly, when you're ready, you can come. Um, what's up, man? Dá pra ver aqui? O que que dá pra ver? Talvez botar... Tio, put... Tá de ser, tá de ser. Ready. ready. We are good to go now. Hi, everyone. I'm Tilly. Hi, this is Tilly. And then she's going to be ready to do a great workout. I've been doing with the players this week, this workout, actually. And then I told her maybe we should do just to, to show you guys and then uh, uh, get you guys involved as well, like, uh, like the players does. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope she can follow the, the training as well. I hope so. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, let's start very simple. I'll just show you the combination just to warm up and then we keep moving, okay? So it's going to be simple. We're going to start like this. We're going to bend one leg and grab your toes. As soon as you finish that, we're going to go. You're going to grab your quads here and then you're going to stretch your quads. As soon as you finish that one, you're going to open the gate at three times. As soon as you finish, you're going to go down and stay down for 10 seconds. Make sense? Yeah? So let's go. Just grab your leg. Go as much you can. Give a great stretch. You can go with your both hands there. Like, feel your hamstring as much you can. Your calves as well. Yes, that's good. A great stretch. Good feeling. That's it. Let's stand up. Let's go to your quads now. Keep your balance. Yeah, go to your quads. Bring your right knee a little bit back. So you feel more your quads. A little bit more. Back a bit more your knee. Great. So you feel your hip flex as well. And keep your balance as well. Great. We're almost there. Let's go open the gates now. Go slowly. Go slow and stretch your leg and go again. That's it. Two. Go a little slower. And three. Let's go down now. Go down. Stay there. Yeah, and then let's try to stretch as much as you can your left hamstring. Move your hips to your right a little bit. Yes, that's it. That's good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Excellent. Let's change your leg. Let's go to your left. You can open your legs a bit more to keep more balance. Yes, that's it. She's a little bit nervous because of the camera. <laughs> so she's shaking a little bit. That's good. Give a great stretch. Like, feel the stretch. That's it. That's it. Here you go. Now let's go to your quads again. Grab your leg. Keep your balance. That's important to keep your balance. Bring your left knee a little bit back. Great. So you feel more your hip flexor. Go a bit more if you can. Great. Excellent, good job. Now, open the gate, keep your balance. Open the gate like we did before. Great, slowly, two and three. Let's go down now and then stretch our right hamstring as much as you can. Move your hips to your left a little bit. That's good, looks good, well done. Three, two and one. Well done, good job. That's great. Now we're gonna do like a full body workout. We just did a little bit of warm up. Now we're gonna start with the lunges. So you're gonna still keep your balance like we did for the warm up. So you're gonna be here, and then you're gonna go down. Good position, touching, and up. Simple like that, 10 times. But the idea is to control the movement, right? I don't need to go down and then getting crazy down. So control here. When you go down, you go down slow. You touch on the floor, and then you go up a little faster, and that's one, okay? 10 times to one side, 10 times to another. Show me that. Yes, that is one. Good job. Two. Three. When you go down, go down a little slower. Control more. Yes. And then bring your right knee a little bit back a bit more. Give more space. That's it. Six. 
seven touch good. I like that. I nine, the last one, the best one. Control, touch, and go and just change your leg straight. Good. Yes, one, two, stretch your left leg in the end. Three, that's it. Four, five, have a good breath. Yeah, control, control the movement. Six, well done. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Good job. Now we're going to do a single leg rip raiser. That's how you call it, yeah. You're just going to go, no, single leg toe touch. So you're going to go down, touch there, and come back. Let's go slow, keep a balance, but today you're going to do a little different. When you are down, when you go up, you go a little faster. Because only your balance works. Make sense? Cool. How many times? Yeah, maybe you can go on diagonal like this so people can see you better. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, six times only. Be careful the your feet on the wall as well. Let's go. It's slowly, like touch there, feel the stretch, and go up a little faster than that. Yeah, only your balance. I know you really want to, to work on balance. Two, that's good. Looks good as well. Balance. Three. Excellent. Four. Five. Last one, the best one. A little faster. Show me that. Touch and go fast. Yes, here you go. I like that. Perfect. And change your life. One, move your hips more to your left when you're going down. Yes, like this. Two, looks good. I like the balance. Three, that's good. Four. Five. Last one, the best one. And go up. Yeah, here you go. Well done. Good job. Six times. Excellent. Now it's going to be simple. Have a look at this one. You're going to lie down. You're going to put your back on the floor. So you're going to be here. Everything up. So your left leg is going to be up. Your right leg is going to bend in the same line of your hips. Arms up, your head up. Very simple. We're going to stretch your leg without moving your quads. So just bend and stretch well. As soon as you finish four times, we stay here 20 seconds. And then you change straight. Four times stretch in 20 seconds. Make clear? Cool. Yeah, so, so put your hands next to you. Always look at the ceiling. Now we stretch your right leg. Yes, that's it. Control. Flex more your feet. Good. Two. Stretch well. Let's go. Three. The last one, you stay there for 20 seconds. I got your time. Yes, excellent. Oh, it's dirty your feet. <laughs> 10 seconds to change. You stretch both legs. That's important. Have a look there. She's flexing her feet. That's great. Excellent. Change. Go straight. Bend, bend the leg. Bend the leg. Let's go. One. Have a brief. You need to brief as well. Two. Excellent. Three. Last one. The best one. And stay 20 seconds. Let's go. Stay there. Flex your feet, well done. Good job. Stretch a bit more. Yeah, I like this. Great. Great. I like that. Almost there. We are almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now, you are on the floor already. You're going to do a push-ups, but the push-ups are going to be a little closer. You're going to close your hands a bit more. Don't open too much. Just close a little more. When you're going down, you go down your body in the same line, you go all together, make sense? Like all together. No many, eight, uh, we're gonna do eight times only. As soon as you finish eight, you can walk back. Yeah, like this, perfect. Let's go like this, close your legs a little bit, just tiny bit, tiny bit, done, perfect. Three, I like that. Very strong, slowly, have a brief. Four, getting harder. Five, six, power, two to go, seven, 
the last one and walk back now. Give a great walk back. Touch your toes. You stretch your leg as much as you can. Stretch your legs a little bit more. That's good. And stand up now. Good. Good. Have a walk. Shake your legs. Good job. Excellent. So the first set we done. We finished the first set. Now the second set we're going to start. We're going to be in the lunges position. Very simple. We're just going to keep our balance. We're going to be in the same line, knee, hips, and shoulders. When you are up, we just bring your knees up and hold that. So let's get a little sweat. We're going to do 30 seconds and 30 seconds. Cool? You can be, yeah. So always before you go, just fix your body. See if you are in the same line, everything perfect. Put your arms in front. Let's go up and hold. Squeeze your abs and open more your chest if you can. That's it. Yeah, looks good. Well done. Great. Ten seconds to go. That's the hardest part. It's coming. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up and then just change straight. Yes, I like that. Great. 30 more seconds. Let's go. Yeah, it looks good. I like that. Perfect. We are almost there. We're doing good. We're doing good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand up, have a walk. Yeah, you work like you hold your legs. That's great. Excellent. Um, now we're going to go down. But when you're down here, we keep your balance. And then you're going to touch your toes on the floor. Touch and up. Where you should feel, you should feel in the legs on the floor. You stay on the floor. So that leg, you should feel like your upper ham, uh, hamstring plus your glutes. And then, the, and then the leg is moving, we do it slow. Touch and up. And then stretch your leg all the time. Makes sense. Let's go only six times. I want you to, to really feel the work, okay? So let's go down. So put your hands on the floor. Good. Lift a little bit more here. Now you touch your toes on the floor. Let's go touch. Toes. I want you to find your toes on the floor. That's the hardest part. Yes. Here we go. Two. There is a difference. That's it. Three, four, keep it going. Five, last one, six. Well done. Good job. Yes, great. Go down, move your hips to your left a little bit before you go. Yeah, so you're here. So test the position. Now touch your toes on the floor like we did before. Yes, find your toes. Nice. Two, perfect. Three, Four, five, and six. Stand up. Great. Yes. It's a tough one. Great. Now, simple. We're going to lie down, put your back on the floor. Your hand's going to be in your head, head up, and then you're going to just move in your legs up and down. Make sense? 30 seconds. And go when you're ready. Yeah. The same like we did before. Always control. I just don't need to control the movement. Like, understand what you're doing. That's it. We're good. Excellent. Keep it going. Like, stretch more leg into the end. Yeah. Have a breath. Great. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. That's it. Well done. Great. Now, where you are, we're going to turn your body. You're going to be in the push-ups position, the same push-ups position we did before, like close your arms a bit more, and then you do a mountain climb, like okay. changing, changing. But always when you change, I want you to flex your feet as well. So like going, and then don't move anything else, just your legs. I don't like to move your hips too much, like side. Just be straight. If you can do fast, you do fast. If you can't, do it slow. Up to you. I just don't the quality, to be fair. So be in the position. It's going to be for 30 seconds changing. So when you get there, I'll take the time. Yes, that's it. Let's go a little faster. Yeah, and keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. That's it. Keep it going. Good, 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 good. Keep it going there. 
Just move your legs. Think about that. Just your legs. I know it's tough. Great. Keep it going. Let's go. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Well done. Good job. Walk back. Yes. Open your legs a bit more. Touch your toes and stand up. Good. Great. Second set done. You can have a drink if you want. Good job. We just did two sets. I mean, if she, if you want to go a little more timing and uh, more repetition, so welcome to do. I guess I just want to keep the quality. So if you go more than 30 seconds here, the quality go low. You know, so that's the plan. But of course, if you guys feel like to do more repetition, just feel like. Now we're going to be the third set. We're going to start doing a, a, a lunges running positions, so you go up and down, simple like that. As soon as you finish eight, we're gonna keep your balance, both hands in front is gonna be today, and then you're gonna have a kick. But the kick, you just move your leg, you don't move your body, you don't go like this, right? You be straight, just have a kick. Lucas, I can't, my, I can't kick there, put your hands down, and have a kick where you can, that's fine. Eight plus eight, okay? Find a spot. I always start on the floor. You can, you can start from the floor. Great position. I, I want you to control. That's all I want. Control. Go up. I was going to go up. You hold for a second. That's it. That's it. Two. Good job. Three. Four. Open more chest. Five. Yes. Here you go. Six. Seven, eight, put both hands in front, stretch your right leg, have a quick a kick now. Yeah, the, a little dynamic, let's go. Three, kick strong. Four, five, six, seven. I love that, well done, good job. Great, change. You start from the floor. Let's go eight good times. One, touch and go. Two. Yeah, looks good. I like that. Three. Four. Five. Six. Go, go your knee a little bit higher. Seven. Eight. Arms in front. Stretch. Yes. Stretch more leg. Dynamic. Dynamic. Yes. Let's go. Three. Two. One. That's well done. Good. Good job. Excellent. Hmm. So now we're gonna go, let's go to a hemi, more like specific to your hemi. So the plan, let me show you. We're gonna be here. We're gonna go up your hips as much as you can. So you go up, bring your hips up, engage your glutes and uh, your hemi as well. Then you're gonna lift one leg like that. And then you're gonna touch. And then you're gonna go up. So let's go six times, but go up as much as you can, like feel the work. As soon as you finish six, we done six. We're gonna be here. And then opposite is gonna touch to your right leg because that's the leg you bend. As soon as you finish six, we go here and then go three times. Makes sense. Six, six, and three. Cool, let's go. So put your arms, ne put your arms next to you. Open your legs a little bit more. Yeah, good. That's it. Go up your hips as much as you can now. As much as you can. Higher. Yes. Go down and up. Six times. Slow. One. Go a bit more up. Two. Three. Yes. Four. Five. The last one, I want you to hold for three seconds there. Go up and hold. Three. Go up a bit more. Two. One, here you go, I like that, perfect. Left arm back, everything up, right arm up as well. Let's go, find that. Slowly, have a brief, yes. One, two, three, four, five. Grab your toe now, grab your big toe. Now with your left leg, go up and down. Slowly, control, yes. Here you go, two, don't move too much. 
three great, excellent helix. Oh, she's getting to my level. Good job. Go up your hips first. Up, up, up. Great. We good. Up and down. Power. One. I need the power now. A little higher. Yes. Two. That's it. Three. Four. Up a little bit more. Five. And six. Well done. Great. Excellent. Abs. Let's go. Six plus three. Find your toes slowly. Control one, two, three, four, five. Grab your big toe. Now let's go to your right leg. One, control, is low, two, and three. Here we go. Excellent. Good job. That's good. That's good. Now, we're gonna do a push-ups position. We can open our hands a little more. When you're down, we hold that for three seconds down. Four times only. And then walk back after. Open your hands a little bit more. Yeah, we good. Let's go down and stay there. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two to go. Three, two, one. Last one, power. Five, four, three, two, one. Up, walk back. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Touch your toes. Say the last one. <laughs> Five seconds. Just a little surprise. Good job. Great. Now, to finish strong, we did like uh, three sets of the training. We did the warm-up, the first part. We did three sets. Of course, you can increase a bit more. You can put more repetition or more timing. Um, but I guess when you do, you see how, how tough it is when you're doing. Um, so now, the idea is going to be a core. We're going to do side plank, side plank, V-hold and plank. Like no stop. So it's going to be 45 seconds doing each. As soon as you finish that, we're done for today. We're good. Sounds good. I hope you guys are enjoying, and then I, ho I hope you guys are doing as well. Yeah, be, be in the, that's a good tip as well. Your elbow and then your ankle always in the same line, so that's a good way to, to look at you. Always elbow and ankle in the same line, not your elbow in front or your ankle in front. So always check, and as soon as you are there, you just go up and hold. Let's start. In five seconds, we start, so I get your time. I don't get lost here. Three, two, one, let's go up. And hold. Great. So you'll be in that position here. And just stay. Always, it's it's common. Your glutes are going back more. You squeeze your glutes in front. Yeah, how t yeah it's so hard when you do that. Great. Excellent. Squeeze more glutes in front. Yeah, here you go. Good job. It's time for my mat now. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's important now. The time uh, we are we are good. We are good. You have five seconds to go. So strong, so strong. Yeah, keep it there. Looking good. Change. Good to go. Ready. Let's go. Open your chest. Always looking forward. I like that. Move your hips a little bit forward. Yeah, great. Yes, good. Flex more feet. Well done. I always try to put like hold your weight for your right hands there as well. Yeah, try to, to find a good spot. Five seconds. That's it. Put your back on the floor. Everything up, legs, arms ahead. Great. Look at the ceiling. That's important. Actually, to be fair here, your low back, your low back must be on the floor, okay? So you don't have any issue after. So if you can go down a little bit more your legs, go down. But I always check if your low back's on the floor. 
great. And always look at the ceiling so you don't have an issue, uh, issue to your neck as well because if you stay too much like this. Great. Good job. Flex your feet more. Well done. Yeah, we, we are coming to the last part of the training now. The last uh, minute of the training. Bring your legs down. Let's make it a little harder. Yes, yes, like this. Five, four, three, two. Turn your body. Plank position. Let's go. Your weight is going to be, it's simple. Your weight is going to be in your hands, in your, in your forearm, and then in your toes as well. That's your weight. That's clear to you guys. See. So always like try to split the weight between these parts. So it's, it's no compensate anything. You're good. You'll work your ankle. When you bring your ankle back a little bit more, you're squeezing glutes and abs. So you take all the pressure from your low back. And then you're good. You try to open your chest a bit more if you can. Great. That's a great position. That's very tough to stay like this and hold it like that. Try to squeeze more your glutes and abs together. Yeah. Great. Great. Stretch more your legs a little bit. Yeah. This is getting so hard. I know. I know how hard that. We have five seconds to go. Four, three, so strong, walk back now. Walk back. So try to put the whole hands on the floor. Like whole hands on the floor. Now you stretch as much as you can your leg. Stretch a bit more. Yes, like this. Three, two, one. And stand up slowly. And we're done. Good job. I think, uh, I don't know how long was the training, but I guess 25 minutes, 30 minutes. But yeah, it was great. Good job. Uh, whole body working. Always increase your confidence, you know what I mean? I guess that's the most important because when you can do this kind of things, your confidence, right? Because you know you can use your body. So that's the goal, always feel confidence because if you're confident, you can, you can fly. Um, guys, if you want to do a free training for me, just uh, go below here. I think you touch it somewhere, you find the, the way to go there, go the link, and then you go do a free month with me, a good training like we did today, simple but with uh, small details when you change your game, okay? Thank you so much for today. Thank you, Tilly, for the training. Well done. Good job. She did amazing. Bye-bye. See you soon, guys. Take it easy. Cheers.